What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So we've got a lot of little random things we need to get done before we can fully put the truck back together. So this video we're just going to be doing a lot of stuff. Uh, I won't even try and explain it to you right now, but just watch as we go. You'll see all the little things we got to get done and then the truck should just come together nicely. So let's get working on it, get some of this random stuff all buttoned up. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we need to do, I picked up this bumper for a good price. Um, and as you can see, it's it needs to be painted. Um, I was debating on how I was going to do this. I was trying to decide should I make the front and the rear bumper both black. Um, I like the chrome look with the new color. So what I decided is I'm actually going to paint this bumper chrome. And... I know some of you may cringe at that. Um, honestly, it's not the it's not my top choice of what we're gonna, what we could do to this. But I like the chrome look with the new color. Um, it's not going to be amazing, but it'll it'll do the job. It'll look fine. And then I'll just keep an eye out for a chrome bumper. And when I find one, I'll just replace it. Not a big deal. So I'm going to scuff down the bumper. And actually, what I'm going to do is only paint this part and this under lip and then the step I'm actually going to do with bed liner. So I just need to scuff all this. I put some uh, PB blaster on the ball so hopefully we can get that off. I'll paint that part as well. Actually I may do that bed liner as well. So anyways we're just going to do this the back part of it and I got just some Rust-Oleum chrome paint which I did a little research on, supposedly it's a good product, you just have to let it cure for like five to seven days before, so it can really cure and harden up. So I want to get that done today so we can, as soon as we're ready to bedline the bed, we can bedline this as well. So anyways, I'm just going to sand it real quick with some 180 grit and then uh, move down to some finer sandpaper and then we'll paint it. So let's do that first. Alright, while we're waiting for that coat to dry on the bumper, we're going to do another, like I said, random thing we have to do. This is the hitch I got for the truck because, like you guys know, the old bumper had the hitch built into it. So, got this, got a little surface rust, so I am going to get the wire wheel and knock off all the surface rust. And then we are going to use chassis saver on this and coat it. So... I'll start doing that while that coat on the bumper's drying, but that bumper looks pretty dang good. Alright guys, this stuff is a chassis saver. I'll link a video above of me doing this stuff all over the frame of my truck. Really good stuff and you can paint it right over the rust as long as you get all that scaling, kind of flaking surface rust off. So I'll show you what this looks like when it's done, but it looks really nice.
All right, I got uh, one coat on this, the parts that I could reach. So look how much better this looks. Looks like a brand new hit. Okay, let me show you this. Turned out pretty good for a rattle can job, especially with chrome. I was expecting it to look a lot worse, but I think it looks good. I didn't do it. I didn't get tons of coverage behind the license plate because it's behind the license plate. This is the hole where they had, it was like an old school four or five prong plug. I run the seven prong plug, so I'm going to try and widen this hole out and then come up with some way to retrofit or almost put some spacers where the screws go to fit that in that hole. Again, this is not going to be a show truck and this bumper is not the permanent bumper. It's just something I can put on there right now to use. Uh, so I'm just kind of making some temporary um, fixes for it or temporary solutions for some of the things we're going to need. So eventually I'll buy a nice new bumper, just not yet. So, and then here is the hitch. Turned out super nice. That chassis saver stuff is awesome. If you haven't seen the video of me doing it on the truck, like I said, I, I'll link it in the description, but that stuff is not very UV uh, resistant. So the reason I'm okay doing it on the frame and on something like this is that all that stuff's tucked underneath the bed. It's not gonna get a lot of sunlight on it. So uh, it should be fine. But if it was like, you know, I'm gonna do the top of the bumper black, but I'm not going to use chassis saver because this is going to be in the heat of the sun most of the time. So I'm going to use bed liner right there. Um, so you just got to know the product, know its strengths and weaknesses and how to use it and use it accordingly. So we're losing light tonight, but uh, we're going to keep working on some stuff in this video. Like I said, a lot of random stuff so we can start putting the truck back together. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. Next day here. So we have... We're gonna finish chassis savoring this. We just gotta get the spot that I couldn't access when it was standing up. Uh, the bumper actually turned out really nice. I mean, for a rattle can chrome paint job. So I'm also gonna uh, chassis saver these brackets. They've just got a little surface rust on them. Uh, so I'll do that as well when I do that. Let me show you what I'm working on right now. So as you guys know, I, I run a one inch body lift um, because you have to to clear the fuel tank on a crew cab short bed. Um, and I was using hockey pucks uh, just because that's all I could get access to in Alaska. Um, go figure, right? Um, so someone recommended to me, I believe it was on Facebook or Instagram, because uh, I couldn't find any one inch spacers at all online. I found some and ordered them and they, the company emailed me and said they don't even make, it, make them anymore so they canceled the order. So someone messaged me and recommended to buy this. Uh, I bought a three foot length of this two inch wide, one inch thick um, compressed. I forget exactly the name for it, but it's, it is super, super hard. Um, it, it has no pliability even though hockey pucks pretty hard they still do kind of get crushed down with time this stuff's going to be very stout so i bought a three foot length of that i need 12 spacers so i've cut them all out and now i'm just drilling the holes in them um, because i want to put the i want to replace the ones up front by the radiator so we can get the radiator put back in and get the front put back together so i'm just going to do these real quick I'll probably get a Dremel and kind of round the corners off just a little bit, just so it looks a little nicer, not so crude. So anyways, that's what I'm working on now. And then we'll finish chassis savoring uh, the hitch and the bumper. So here we go. All right, so there one is, um, these ones are gonna go up front under the radiator and they, you can't see them at all. So aesthetically, I'm not, I'm not really worried about any of them because you really don't, climb under it and check out what type of 
body mounts a truck is running and if you do uh, I don't know I don't I've never done that but anyways uh, I think this will work much better than those hockey pucks and they're exactly an inch so I'm gonna do these ones up front uh, and then I will get the ones ready for the bed and then the ones for the cab I'll swap out at a later date uh, no rush on that they're easy to do I just want to get the truck put back together right now so Anyways, here we, do, here we have two of them ready to go. All right, let me show you the final product. Got the hitch here, completely done. Looks super nice. And then we got the bumper over here. I really just did the brackets, you know, I could have gone all out and done the inside. But like I said, this bumper is temporary. It's just to get me by till I find a nice uh, OEM chrome one with this, uh, you know, with the factory chrome on it that's in good condition so looks pretty good though I don't know how much footage you guys caught of me painting this because it's so windy out right now it actually blew my tripod over and knocked the camera down so anyways that's that so I'm gonna I, I'm gonna run to the hardware store get all the hardware to mount the bumper the hitch and I need new bed bolts as well. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll probably later this evening we'll get that stuff done. Maybe get the bed on tonight. We'll see. All right. Let me show you what I've been working on. I haven't really filmed this because it's just, you know, it's the reverse of when I uninstalled it. So got the lower valance on. But I'm missing one of the fender clips for this one. So I need to get that. So that'll suck that fender in. Um... Got that on, got the cowl on, and the wiper sh shooter nozzles, uh, so that went on really good. So now I'm going to put the windshield wipers on, and if you guys saw my video on the cab teardown, I'll link it up above, but uh, there's splines on this thing, so for example, let me grab one right here. Um... Just kind of slip it on. Don't push it all the way on. And see where the wiper ends up. So that to me is a little too high. So I'm going to switch it down one spline. So you just kind of wiggle it off. Come back. Now look at that. That's too low. That's maybe one spline too low. And that's perfect right there. Maybe. That's a little too low still. So anyways, you just have to kind of play with it and get it exactly, you know, where you want it on the windshield. And then you push it all the way down, lift up on the arm and push that tab down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so there those are pretty easy to do. So now I am going to put the headlight, um, I don't know what they're called, the headlight holders, put those back on each side. And then uh, we could put the grill back in. I'm not gonna put the radiator in quite yet because I wanna put the bed on and make sure the bed and the 
kind of alignment is perfect and that the um, core support doesn't need to go up or down. So I'm not going to put the radiator on until we get the bed completely lined up with the cab and the front clip. So I'll put those headlight bezels on. Uh, again, if you, I'm not really showing you how to do this. If you want to know how to do it, go watch the video of the cab teardown during paint. I show how to do everything. All right, guys, it's the next day. Let me show you what I've been up to. So I have the truck pulled out. I just washed the frame again because I'm going to put the hitch on, the bumper, and then have a buddy come over and help me put the bed on. So that's where we're at. I did a few things off camera. I'll show you. I put the mirrors on, put the antenna on. So I'm going to put the grill on and the front bumper too, but I want to uh, pressure wash everything up here first. So I'll do that right now too. It's so dirty and it's really funny because I've literally never washed this truck because it just has, you know, it's been three different colors. The paint's worn out, so I've never washed it. So it's really weird to feel like it needs to be washed. So we'll get the bed on and then wash it. And... Uh, making super progress it's so cool to see it come back together so i'll put the hitch and the bumper on and then uh we'll get i'll show you guys putting the bed on so stay tuned all right guys the moment of truth and i forgot to film it so my bad we put the bed on but i'm going to give you guys a look right now there she is got the bumper on too pretty good looking bumper for a chrome spray paint job so I got to put the mounts under the bed and bolt it in the hitch that I you guys saw me redo didn't fit so I'm gonna have to look for a different one again we're gonna be doing next two videos are gonna be bed liner and putting the new exhaust in show you the front I just put the grill on too looks so good so so good so I'm gonna put the bed mounts on headlights in signals in uh, marker lights in again I'm not really showing you guys all that because I showed you how to take it all apart so gotta put the tail lights in just a lot of little stuff so I'll check back in with you guys when it's all buttoned up and ready to go all right guys we are back out here again so I should be able to get this thing completely put together. So this should be the last little segment of this video. We'll get it all ready. Um, and then we will, uh, I'll do a separate video on doing the exhaust and a separate video on the bed liner. You're probably saying to yourself, why didn't you put the exhaust in while the bed was off? And yeah, I thought of that, but uh, guaranteed all of you guys who want to do an exhaust on your truck aren't going to take the bed off to do it so I figured I'd put the bed on and do it so I can struggle through it and show you guys how to do it with the bed on uh, yeah it's going to be more work for me but that's what I want in this channel is I want it to be authentic I want it to be uh, showing you guys how to do every step so anyways I'll get the rest of this put back together and maybe we'll take it for a quick drive all right, guys, that is a wrap. Let me show you. Still got to sand and re-clear the uh, fuel door. And I still, I need to adjust the bumper up just a little bit. I'll probably wait to do that till after I bed line the top of it. And I need to adjust the bed just a little bit with some, uh, what do you call them, the little plates you put in there, shims. So I'll do that. But I was just too anxious. I had to take it for a drive. There it is. Turned out awesome, though. 
What does Lily think? It's great. You like it? Um, how do you think it? <laughs> well, guys, it's kid approved, I think. So, uh, next couple videos. Here's what we're going to do. We The interior is still torn apart. So we're going to do a video on sound deadening the, the door skins and the interior door panel. That'll be a video. Um, the exhaust is still hacked off halfway through. We're going to do a video on installing a diamond die 4 inch exhaust. Um, what's the other one? Also, yeah, that's what it is. We're going to bed line the bed with Rhino liner. So three solid videos coming up after this. Um, sorry if I didn't show you guys everything putting it back together. Uh, two reasons I didn't. One is you saw me tear it all apart. And two, uh, if any of you guys have tried filming doing stuff, there's a certain point where you just want to take it, take time to yourself and just do stuff, work at your own pace and not worry about it. And I figured that was the perfect opportunity for me to, to do that and to not worry about filming. And uh, I got a ton done. So I showed you guys some updates, um, but I didn't want to film everything and time lapse everything. So anyways, that's the reason why. Forgive me if you wanted to see any of that. Or if you have questions about how I did any of it, just ask in the comments and I will I'll let you know. So one last look, there she is. I'm in love, I am in love. So we will see you guys in the next video.